day, YouTube. I'm going to take some time here to speak about the Pocket Tool X Piranha. It is a uh, single piece, multi purpose pocket tool. Um, in a lot of ways, it, it can kind of serve the same purposes that um, larger multi tools like the folding, uh, here, like this kind. In a lot of ways it can uh, do some of the same things that these kind of tools can do, but uh, I guess they're kind of uh, more meant for people that don't really want to carry a uh, full-size folding um, multi-tool. So you can uh, get one of these, attach it to your key ring, or uh, have a sheath made for it, or find a stock off the shelf sheath, uh, however you want to do it. Um, there have been many variations over the years. Uh, the one that I have is actually maybe third gen, second or third gen, I'm going to say. I know that the original ones were made out of S30V, um, so a different kind of steel than this one. This one was 154CM. The S30V ones, the, the very uh, first ones, they'd actually have a little notch here, it'd be a circle. A um, little circle cut out here if it was uh, standard uh, because the, the two hex wrenches uh, were both standard or metric. You had to buy a separate tool if you wanted metric. And there's also a cutout here. I think the jaws were a little bit higher up. This uh, cutout for the piranha's mouth was a little bit higher up. <clears throat> there was a cutout here that functioned as a nail puller. I think a, a lot of times the bottom jaw would break off, uh, especially maybe being with a S30V, it would be a little bit more brittle steel. Um, you can see here, Pocket Tool X is actually engraved, I would say probably uh, chemically etched, if I had to guess, on this uh, 154CM version. They switched over to this, um, they claim it is due to a shortage of S30V, which is possible, so I think the, the breakage probably had a lot to do with the cutout. Um, and I guess they're having an easier time finding S30V. Uh, these were maybe 50 or so uh, when they were out. They eventually switched to 420, which is a softer steel, and uh, you can tell the finish on it, although they claim stonewash for both, and I would, I would agree with that. The finish on it is uh, a brighter, more polished finish. And uh, they changed to laser engraving Pocket Tool X Piranha. Um, on these, this side is um, standard, this side is metric on all of these. This is a, a black oxide version, they call it their smoke finish. You can see with this one, I left the, the little uh, bit holder in here. So it's a neoprene bit holder. Let me get this tool out. The neoprene bit holder looks like this, just pops right out. It uh, holds the, the bit very well, it's not going to come out if you don't want it to. You just uh, thread it through the eye and commence to tightening or loosening your screws. It works pretty well, I don't actually, as you can see with these two, I don't actually uh, carry mine with the bit holder uh, or the bit because I, I do carry other tools. Um, work a little bit better. I like having this on me uh, to use as a pry bar um, or a scraper. I've used the scraper end of this one many times. Can't tell. Uh, they said they said that uh, the S30V and 154CM versions were heat treated to 58 to 60 Rockwell hardness. Um, I believe it. Uh, it does feel pretty hard. I've used it against a lot of uh, other metal objects. I've never, you know, dented it or um, scratched it or anything along those lines. So I have no no problem believing that it is uh, a pretty good heat treat on these. Uh, you can see here, this would be a large uh, flathead, smaller smaller flathead, um, open box wrench, closed. Um, a space for the bit, um, space to actually utilize the bit. This is a scraper here. This little notch is meant for um, opening boxes. Now a lot of people seem to think that 
this should be able to cut through cardboard. That's not the purpose of this. Uh, having a sh sharpened edge here would mean that you'd have to be very mindful when you're using it for other things to not injure yourself. Uh, and this is actually meant just to kind of slice through the tape that's holding a box closed so that you don't have to gunk up your primary uh, EDC blade. Uh, there's a bottle opener here. It actually works extremely well. Uh, opens the bottle the first time every time, you know. You don't have to reposition it or anything like that. <clears throat> uh, one of my favorite uses for the Pocket Tool X Piranha is actually uh, as a as a doorstop. Uh, in the building that I work in, um, all of the doors are alarmed, and to prop one open for you know more than 20 seconds, it'll send an alarm to uh, the police, and they'll come out to investigate. So we have to call the police ahead of time and um, let them know that we're going to prop a door open if we're doing some sort of work, carrying uh, large objects inside or outside or anything along those lines. And um, when we do prop the door open, uh, of course we don't have uh, door stops nearby because it's, it's not a common occurrence where we're going to prop a door. Uh, I just pull this out of my sheath on my belt and um, stick it where the, the door hinges. Um, I just put it in there and then basically uh, the door will catch on these notches here and I can actually sort of gauge like how far, how wide open I want the door to be uh, just by kind of if I want it to be wider I'll just uh, put it all the way up to this notch or if I don't really care it can be you know only halfway open I can uh, put it in these notches here uh, something that I noticed on the the newer 420 versions on the inside notches for the box wrench I don't know if this is going to show up but they're actually uh, small little notches kind of right here on halfway mark on each one of these I'm not sure if they help with grip or exactly how that works, but it's uh, worth noting. It's on it's on these two, on the inside teeth, and there's you can probably see them right here on these two teeth. Yeah, these are super handy little tools. Um, so you gotta tighten a bolt, hex bolt, and it has a nut on the other end. If you were to just use one of these or just a pair of pliers, uh, you would basically just be spinning the screw and the and the nut that wouldn't actually be tightening at all. Um, you could hold the nut with one hand and you know tighten the screw with this or with a pair of pliers and get it fairly tight. But if you really want to uh, crank down on it, you can put uh, piranha on the nut and uh, the pliers on the the, the bolt side and uh, really torque down that way so it's very useful to, to me to carry these things in tandem let's see I'll take a look at uh, how the packaging has changed a little bit this is the packaging just a, a flat little envelope this is a neoprene holder this is what my original uh, 154CM Piranha came in. I guess they're a little bit smaller of a business then. And uh, now it comes in these uh, nice clamshell packages. These are uh, TSA compliant, made in America. Uh, very lightweight, and they are wrenches. They can turn bolts. Uh, something interesting to note, better not get something in front of the camera. Something interesting to note is that uh, Pocket Tool X was actually just acquired by Leatherman. So, in the future, uh, you're going to be seeing these tools coming from Leatherman. I asked uh, a couple of questions of Leatherman about this, and um, they said that they will be made uh, on the sh same machinery, still in America, uh, all the same materials exact same specs. The only difference will be instead of being la laser engraved here, Pocket Tool X Piranha, it will be laser engraved uh, Leatherman Piranha. So, yeah, definitely take a look at these. Extremely useful to have. Thanks.